Hello and welcome back to another video. Today what we're going to talk about is how you can go from around $10,000 per month with your marketing agency all the way up to $20,000 per month. You see, going from 10,000 per month all the way up to 20,000 is actually quite difficult. On one hand, it's easy because you literally just do what you did to get from zero to 10K and you just do that over and over again. But the reason it's actually quite hard is because it does require a bit of a mindset shift. So even if you are not making any money with your agency right now, maybe you're not at the 10K mark, this will still help you because you will know what to anticipate and how to kind of pre-program your mindset in a way that will help you to scale once you're ready. So one of the biggest issues people run into when they hit 10K per month is that they get very, very complacent. Look, $10,000 per month is a lot of money. So it's very likely that you are gonna celebrate that, you're gonna be super proud, and you're gonna think to yourself, this is awesome and I've made it. And you definitely should be proud, it is not an easy thing to do. But if you do know deep down that you want to scale, right, and you don't wanna just stay at 10,000 per month, for the next year, you are gonna to have to put in a lot of work. To go to 20,000, like I mentioned, it is going to require a bit of a mindset shift. So the first thing that you do need to understand is that your marketing agency and your marketing business, whether it's a marketing agency or maybe it's a consulting business, it's pretty much broken up into three key areas. Area number one is marketing. This is you generating leads, getting businesses interested in what you have to offer, and then moving them into step number two, which is sales. So it's not good enough just to get them interested. You have to get their interest and then take that interest and turn it into desire. And you have to turn it into desire where they actually want to work with you. And finally, the third part of that equation is we've looked at marketing, which is getting the businesses interested. We've looked at sales, actually converting those leads into clients, but you do have to provide a service. You have to deliver to your clients and that is the final part called operations. So whether you have one client or you have 30 clients, this structure is still going to be in place. When you have one client, you have to do marketing and sales to get that client, and then you have to focus on the operations and delivering that service to your client. And if you have 30, it's still the same. Of course, it's gonna be different. You're gonna have team members, and maybe you're not doing everything yourself, but those three key areas are still the most important parts of your business. So that's the first thing you have to be crystal clear on is those three key areas and how you're actually gonna have those in line for your business. Because going from zero to 10K per month, yes, you do need all three areas. You need marketing, sales, and operations, but then to go to 20K, that is gonna slightly differ. So going from 10K to 20K, the emphasis on each of those key areas is going to slightly change. So. All of a sudden, of course, you still need to focus on your lead generation because to go from 10,000 in revenue to 20,000, you're gonna to have to get leads and you're gonna to have to get clients. But surprisingly enough, you're actually gonna put a little bit more emphasis now on operations. The reason being is that if you go from 10,000 to 20,000 and you double your clients, you're gonna to have to make sure that things don't get sloppy and you still have a very good service and it is to that standard that you expect. Now, the second thing that you have to be very, very clear on is your goal. So if you wanna go from zero to 10,000 and stay at 10,000, own it. That is completely fine. If you wanna do it, do it. I'm not telling you you have to scale. That is a decent amount of money. You could definitely live very, very comfortably and you will probably be making more money than a lot of people you know. But on the flip side, if you know deep down that you would not be satisfied with 10,000 per month, you're gonna have to put in that extra bit of grind to get yourself to the 20,000 and then eventually 30,000 per month mark. And that is why it is super important to be crystal clear on what your goal is. And now I want you to take a second to actually look at that for yourself because going from zero to 10,000, it's gonna have its own set of challenges. But then going from 10 to 20,000, it's going to bring more challenges. The more money you make, normally you run into more issues and problems that you've got to solve along the way. Of course, if you have a good team, good systems, you're not going to have a huge headache on there, but it's just a kind of universal law that seems to work with money. The more money you get, you're going to have more things that you have to look at. More problems, more situations you got to fix, and more little issues here and there. So whatever that goal is for you, own it. And I really truly mean that. And that's why I want to really emphasize this point. If you are happy with 5,000 per month or 10,000 per month, 
own it. That is completely fine. Don't let me or anybody else who is scaling their agency let you know that you have to do that. You can be completely fine with that amount of money. You may prefer that. You may want more of a lifestyle business where you don't have to work too much and you can hand most of that work off to your team. But if you do want to scale and you want to make more money, also own that. There's nothing wrong with wanting more money. The more money you have, the more you can do, okay? You can pay more people, you can provide more jobs, and you can support more causes if you want to do that with your money as well. So I actually made a previous video where I kind of documented what that looks like going from zero to 10K per month. So I'm gonna pop up a screenshot up here. I'm gonna keep that screenshot there for a few minutes while I'm talking you through this. So you'll see in that screenshot, I've got three things listed, which is M, S, and O. So M is for marketing, sales is for getting the client signed up, and O is for operations. And you'll see what that split looks like. It's 50% marketing, 40% sales, and 10% on operations. Now those are not exact figures, those are just roughly what I believe to be very accurate for going from zero to 10K per month. Makes sense, right? You don't have clients, so most of your emphasis is on getting clients, which is M and S, and not so much on delivering service because you don't have clients yet. But as I mentioned, as you start to scale, that number will completely differ. So realistically, going from zero to 10K is gonna look like that. And going from 10K to 20K is usually gonna be more along the lines of 10% for marketing, around 20 to 30% for sales, and then the remaining percentage is gonna be on operations. So as you can see, operations has kind of swung from being only 10% to now being potentially around 60%. The reason this is key again is because you have more clients, you've gotta put more of a focus on your service delivery. When you're starting off, you can do a lot of it yourself, but it is so important that you have a team when you're reaching this 20K per month mark. If you don't have a team or this kind of system, right, to deliver this really good service to your clients, it is gonna get very, very messy. And it's also gonna cause you to just lose a lot of clients because you're not gonna be putting that emphasis on operations that you really need to. And if you put the focus on operations, you're actually gonna be able to maintain that 20K per month mark a lot easier. If you take your foot off the gas pedal, right, and you kind of let the operations slip, your client retention is going to suffer. So you may have a case where your client retention is 50%, right? Really, really bad. That means 50% of your clients are gonna leave you every month. So if you're at 20K per month today and you don't sign any clients in the next month, you're only gonna be back to 10K. That's why it's really important to make sure your retention is very, very good. You want good retention and then you want obviously good sales and marketing to bring in those extra clients if a handful of clients drop off. It's pretty tough to have a 100% retention rate. It's relatively easy to do it when you're starting off, but when you've got 20, 30, 40 clients, it is very hard to do that. So you should be aiming for a very high retention rate because a high retention rate is just going to make your life easier. It means you have to put less emphasis on marketing and sales, and you can be more comfortable, right? Knowing that you're gonna have X amount of revenue coming in next month, because your operations are dialed in. Even if you can aim for around 80% retention, that's a good place to be. That means that if you're doing 20K per month now, if you don't sign any clients, you're gonna be at 16K next month. And can you recoup for maybe 5,000, 6,000 in clients? You definitely can if you're still putting that focus on sales and marketing. So I want you to comment down below, does this make sense that you have to make this sort of shift from heavily invested on sales and marketing when you're starting off to now being more focused on the operations once you've actually got the clients coming in. If it does, definitely drop a comment below, give me a yes in the comments. And if it doesn't, drop a comment below as well, and I will do a more kind of detailed explanation of why that is crucially important. So that's it, folks. Essentially, that is what has to happen. If you wanna make that shift from 10,000 to 20,000 per month, or even more, you're gonna have to make that shift from just looking at the sales and marketing and just really putting all your focus on that to now being more focused on your operations. Now, I do wanna just say that you don't wanna let your foot slip off the sales and marketing. I've seen it before where someone just goes all in on operations, and that's good. You're gonna to have to do that sometimes, but it's very important that you still have your clients coming in, even if it's only one client a week or one client every two weeks, just to make sure that you still know how to sell because selling is very much a game of practice. The more sales calls you do, the better you get, and the less sales calls you do, the worse you get. So if you have weeks and weeks with no sales calls, you're gonna be pretty shaky, you're gonna be pretty rough, and you mightn't sign many clients when you do have sales calls booked in again. So hopefully that makes sense, hopefully you got some value, and I will see you in the next video.